splashdown is scheduled for just a few minutes from now. Meters. SpaceX copies, brace for splashdown. And there are the boats starting to chase after Dragon um, to begin their recovery operations as soon as Dragon lands. You can hear the applause. But we have visual confirmation of the Crew-1 resilience capsule. From resilience. Uh, this excellent news. We are splashed down. We sh the pyros have fired. We're water fighting. SpaceX copies and concurs. We do she main cut as well. You can see uh, the nest right there. That's where Crew Dragon will be placed once it has been hoisted onto the vessel. And so this is the uh, resilience capsule. It flew for the first time uh, in November of last year. And when it flew, uh, it was pristine and white. And now we've got uh, a little bit of uh, toastiness on its side. Dragon SpaceX, brace for capsule lift. Go ahead, Paul. We hear the lift. Crew Dragon Resilience now out of the water and pre being prepared to be placed on that dragon nest in the center of your screen at the bottom. And just an hour ago, this capsule had just completed the deorbit burn and was still in space and now is being returned to go navigator, the first time for these crew members to be on Earth in almost six months. Secured Dragon uh, onto the recovery vessel and now it's moving uh, towards the platform where eventually the hatch will open up. Now the crew members will not ride this boat all the way back to shore. They will board a helicopter and that helicopter will take them um, back to Pensacola and waiting there will be a NASA plane to bring them back to Houston. End of the recovery vessel, uh, Go Navigator. And here is, uh, I think that's Mike Hopkins, the commander. Uh, he's, he's very excited. <laughs> Feeling pretty good after six months in space. <laughs> Oh, this is just excellent to see. It's not very often you get to wake up on the space station and go to sleep in Houston. And so we've been talking about that in the control center. You know, the orbital mechanics and the weather don't always work out, but today they did. And so, so that's pretty remarkable. And today was a testament to, um, to, you know, the whole Dragon design team and, uh, and operations team and also the, uh, the, the recovery team. Um, and the, the execution was, was just, just perfect in my, in my eyes. I think this mission proved uh, the Crew Dragon provide a more robustness and more capability to the International Space Station. And also proved that the international, international and commercial partnership accomplished this goal.